I speak in general and as if I were screaming, but yeah, I don't understand what you, uh, what's your question, man? What, what you want me to help you with? Appreciate you pulling through the stream. But yeah, um, yeah, we the same age. Uh, <laughs> internal screaming? Is that what he means? Yeah, internal screaming? Uh, he's just saying that nobody cares. Which I'm gonna call it. Oh, so you're saying like nobody cares about um Okay. Oh, okay. I'm twenty one years old and nobody cares. Okay. Mmm, okay, 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 okay. So you kinda um so do you feel like no one, like, the people around you don't appreciate who you are? Like, um, let me see. I mean about me. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Then my first question is, what made you kind of think that? Like, is there is, is there people around you that kind of make you feel like you're a nobody? Is that do you feel like? Because um, it it can also be an issue of like a nihilistic way of thinking, where you know you don't you feel like you're meaningless. So is that if I'm am I getting, you know, hot as far as what you what you're feeling like? Um, treated like shit. OK, 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 OK. OK, um, hmm. So you feel like you're being treated like shit all days long. OK. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, um, who do you live with? Like, who, who, who are the people you interact with every day? Like, no one appreciates it. Okay. For me, it sounds like you seek validation. Um, I don't know. I might be wrong, but like, if it sounds like to me, Maybe growing up, you always seeked like validation, like maybe whoever raised you um, always give you always gave you like validation with everything you do, even even if it's like the small things, you know how like growing up as a kid, your parents are always like, good job. You know, you drew that little ugly piece of paper, even though it's ugly. Parents always tend to um, reaffirm. Us. And that usually gives us confidence because our whole life we grew up thinking like, OK, that's, you know, everything we do is going to be appreciated. We always seek um, validation. If we get the validation, it just makes us more confident. So if there is a, you know, a stage of our life where we don't get that, it can get a little confusing, um, especially knowing how to. uh deal with that um you live alone oh really 21 years old living alone power to you bro um if i if you don't mind me asking also like do you uh who like who did you like did you have parents when you grew up um like what's your situation when you grew up um if you don't mind me asking because i'm trying to think like because sometimes I'm not going to say that, like, your issue is not like, you know, obviously it's it, it's a bad issue and like no one should feel like that. No one should feel like they're nothing, you know, but sometimes it's always in the mind and how you think. So. Yeah, if you don't mind me asking. What was your upbringing? How did you grow up? Um, like, who was there? 
you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, I live alone until 19 years old. I had parents. Oh, okay. So you, are you saying like, um, until 19 years old, like you were pretty much living with your parents. And then when you turned 19, you lived alone, uh, by yourself. Is that what you're kind of saying? Um, I still have them there in, oh, so you, um, so you live in Italy or like you live around Italy? Hold on. Um, let me see. Okay. 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 Yeah. I can't, honestly, I can't really say like, like, don't let me step on anyone's toes when I say this. Like, I can't really, like, have the same feeling that you're feeling since I didn't grow up in Italy. I didn't grow up in these situations, the same issue, uh, the same issues that you went through. I don't know how, like, um, appreciate the follow, by the way, but I don't know how, like, your upbringing went. I don't know how things go. What's good, Flame Angel? How you doing, homie? Uh, but, um... You know what I mean? But I can say for a fact, I can understand and, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been through situations where sometimes life does feel meaningless, you know? So, um, doing a sort of right. What's up with you? Um, you already know, bro. We doing on this, uh, homework journey, another homework stream. Um, yeah. And then we got King of the Universe. He's asking a question or... He's asking for advice, I would say, um, about him not feeling like him feeling useless, kind of pretty much him feeling uh, not appreciated for what he does. So I'm trying to uh, help him out and see if I can give him any advice. So, again, obviously, no matter how much I tell you what you should do or whatever it is. I can't really do it for you. And at the same time, you may take, um, um, what you call you may take what I'm saying and throw it in the trash can. Like, so I'm not saying, so what, what I'm pretty much trying to say is like, you don't have to listen f to everything I'm saying. You don't actually have to like, um, consider what I'm saying. I'm not, you know, a hundred percent expert at this. I'm just giving you my perspective, my experience, but, um, Nah, you good, man. You you good. Um, no apologies. I'm if I'm down to help somebody, I am down to help somebody. So I'm just saying that you know, like I'm giving you my experience, my perspective. So it may not be a hundred percent of right. It may not work for you, but as long as I can give someone a hand, I don't care. I really don't care. I don't care if that wastes my time either. But um, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to see. I want you to pretty much. I want you to like understand the way you think, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's an important thing with problems in like the mind, the mind is powerful. You know what I mean? Like the mind and the way you think is crazy. And it's crazy how like just understanding certain things that you do and understanding, um, things that happen and how you think and how you react, um, is powerful just alone so if you understand um if i can break it down to you if you can break down like and like understand what your problem is and how the way you think you know what i'm saying then you can get to the right step of you know fixing your problem but of course like i said with me you know giving you this advice whatever i say from now on I, it may not help you. It may not actually give you the answer, but if I can help you get to the step of direction that you need to be to, to get to the, your answer, then that's, I feel like that's, that's something that's better than just me telling you whatever. And then you don't understand what I'm really saying, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, flame angels is spitting. He's spitting. Um, Truly, I think, um, I'll put it like this, um, 
do you think the people around you like the when like for example you said you uh you have parents and you used to live with them until like 19 years old right so do you think that they are the cause of how you like let's say like do you think they cause most of how you feel today like they did certain things that made you made you feel like you're being under underappreciated um that's my first question. Do you feel like they did certain things to make you feel like you're undervalued? Like all the things you do is just, it doesn't mean anything. That's my first question to you. Um, but, um, but the way I think when someone is, uh, the way I think when someone feels like they're not getting the respect they deserve. Sometimes you have to look back at your accomplishments. So if I were you, I would go back and see what you accomplished first. So like, what are some things that you accomplished that um, made you feel like, wow, like I, I was actually pretty good on this. Or like, let's say, for example, like you're doing a homework project like this right here and you got all your peers and your teachers was like, wow, this is really good. You know, um, is there any moments like that where you felt like, wow, I actually I feel like I'm being appreciated. So that's my next question. Um, thanks, dog. Uh, and yeah, there are people like, uh, OK. Kind of. Okay. So you, um, you kind of feel like, uh, your parents did some things, um, in the past that made you kind of feel like this. Okay. Um, 40%. So are you saying like 40% as far as like, that's like the percentage of those times where you felt like you, uh, did something cool. You accomplished something. I played drums for nine years in I took two diplomas. Ooh, that's pretty, that's dope, actually. That's actually really dope. And so, that's interesting. So you played drums for nine years. Okay. So let me ask you this. Do you remember that feeling of, like, you played those drums and then, like, you got those two diplomas for that? You remember that feeling of, like, actually accomplishing that like for example like have you ever just like let's say you're just playing the drums or you like you're doing a cover song for your favorite from your favorite song or something like that do you do you know that feeling of like dang like i can really drums like i can really play the drums you know because that'll be my next question do you know that feeling like do you remember that feeling okay yes okay cool um, so you have to put it in a different perspective now, because for me personally, anytime I feel like I ain't crap, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't worth nothing. I always go back to my accomplishments for me personally. So I go back and see like, dang, like for right now I can do this graphic design stuff, but beforehand, like just literally two years ago, I wouldn't even be able to um, I would say like, I wouldn't be as good as I am now on Photoshop. For example, um, this is not a flex. This is not a flex. This is an example. I'm a YouTuber. Well, aspiring YouTuber. I'm not trying to say that I, <laughs> I'm a big YouTuber, but right here, I'm exposing all of it, but this is my YouTube channel. And So I go back. These are all my videos I have now. If I go to my oldest videos, eight years ago, I started my first video and it was called Furrow Heart. And if I click on it and I watch and see how cringy it was. It'll be in the description below. Um, yeah, so here bro. we go. So, so we're going to play some Furrow Heart. 
bad, right? But then I go back and see my videos now. Most popular. Uh-uh. This is a recent video. Why do you have to come in front of my face, bro? Like, move. How y'all doing? It's your boy JC and welcome back to... So when you... You kind of see the distinct difference that, like... It took eight years to get where I'm at. And so sometimes I feel like I ain't crap. No one cares about my YouTube videos, especially when I don't get views. Like, look at those views. <laughs> but most people can't say they can do this. Like, most people can't say in their life, hey, I followed one thing that I love doing and I went nine years on drums play drums for nine years and i'm here where i can do a whole cover of a song drum works crazy like no most people can't say that but the problem i always find interesting with humans is like when we feel like we don't we don't do anything like we don't add anything to the world or most people don't appreciate what we do. We tend to always go to our failures. We tend to always feel like, okay, what we're doing now is not, is not shit to compare to someone who's more successful at me at doing what they do. And it's kind of like, well, you kind of actually, in a way, you kind of decrease the value that you have by talking like that and looking at that perspective. Um, because it's not about where we're going to be at is what we're doing now. And a lot of people forget that at the end of the day, hard work and accomplishments and how many you got it matters and it shows that like you've done all that work and you got where you want to get. So that's cool. But why you do what you do and how you got there and how long you, it took you to get there is what is really matters. It shows that you are passionate about it. It shows that you care about it more than anyone else. So caring about your parents and their validation it's cool to, you know, you want to have people be like, yeah, that's really cool, man. I really love what you do. But at the end of the day, if you don't love what you do and someone comes up to you and says, yo, that's really dope. Oh, you're amazing at it. It doesn't feel right either way because it's like, OK, yeah, but that's not what I what I really like to do. Versus if even if someone did come up to you and was like, I don't know. That looks kind of bad, but you know for your you know in your heart that you love doing this. Why does not You know what I'm saying? Like it does not matter what they think. Because at the end of the day, you love doing it. This is what you're most passionate about doing. So this shouldn't stop anything else that you're doing. This what you're doing and what they say is two completely different things because they're not in your shoes. So if someone doesn't give you your flowers, quote unquote, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, you know that you love playing drums for nine years. You know you love doing this. You know what you put when, under the sun when no one's looking. And that's all that matters. And for me, I know for a fact, like, like for example, this video right here, a thousand views. I ain't never got a boy when I tell you eight years, 2013, this is like three days after my birthday, 2013, I did not think I was going to get to 700 subscribers. The only thing on my mind was like, you know what? This is fun. This shit right here is fun to me, bro. I love doing this. Like, no one's going to tell me what to do. And to add on to that, King of the Universe, um, 
if you don't mind me taking more of your time, <laughs> but I remember, this is a little personal, but I remember back then, for example, I have a really dark complexion on my skin. So like compared to most African-Americans, I am like darker than most, right? And I had insecurities of that um, going through high school and it felt like a battle zone going to school. Then I would go home and I love my parents, but it was pretty toxic going home because it was constant like, oh, you don't do this. You know, it was just constant battles at home. So videos was like a safe haven for me. Doing content, being creative, all of this stuff right here was just a safe haven for me. I love the idea ever since um, starting YouTube. I just love the idea of making a video for someone. I just always thought that was cool. So since I thought it was cool, I just said, you know what? I'm going to just put my time into that. I don't care what anyone else says. And yeah, I had a lot of people. My, I, I remember my mom was like, even at one point was like, oh, you're doing these videos. This is not going to pay the bills. And I just felt like all of my work that I put into videos was just, it's worthless. Um, and that was like when I did my, uh, Valhall A series, which is probably my best playthrough. I even put it right here. Best playthrough series. And I had fun playing this game. I had fun doing it. I didn't care if people didn't like it. I didn't care if, you know, my parents didn't appreciate what I was doing. I had fun. And that's all I'm, that's all that matters. So I'm not going to say that like, you know what I mean? Like my words, this is what you should do. At the end of the day, I'm not, I'm no ex expert. I'm just a random nigga on Twitch. <laughs> I'm just, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know me, but from my experience, I would definitely say like, if you like it, you love it. That's the only person you need to, you know, please. That's the only validation you need is you. It, I, sometimes I'm telling you, bro, it's just the mind. It's just how we think. And it's just, it's just stupid, man. And, uh, yeah, so I know it's going to be hard. I'm not even going to act like you heard everything I said. So now it's going to, everything's going to fall in place. I just say baby steps, you know, baby steps. Every time you feel like crap, go back to your accomplishments, man. Go back to why you love doing what you did. So, um, ah, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Rant over. My bad. Um, I appreciate you, uh, asking that. Um, it's interesting because, yeah, I don't get a lot of people, you know, asking for advice or you know, actually being raw. So I appreciate you uh, pulling through. Um, so no problem, man. Uh, we have the same age, so we speak. Bruh, we might as well, bruh. Because I'm telling you, when you say that, it just called back to all the stuff that I went through. And I'm like, man, like, that, that junk sucks. That junk legitimately sucks. So I appreciate you, man. I'm glad I can help you out, for real. That's really dope. Anyway, so yeah, I'm praying for you and I hope you, uh, you get to where you want to get. Um, but yeah, baby steps, man. I know it's not going to be easy, but yeah, start off small.